Hello guys, today we're going to read this funny story and I hope you enjoy. It's called Cardigan Jones. Okay, let's start. Cardigan walked by Miss Brown's house just as she was putting a fresh baked apple pie in her window. Cardigan loved, pie, loved pies. He walked over and smelled the pie. A neighbor next door saw him and a milkman driving by saw him too. Cardigan was new in town and they weren't sure what he was up to. A moment later, Mrs. Brown came back to the window and the pie was gone. She was so upset, she called the police. She told them that she'd seen a, a moose just a few minutes before, so they drove around the block and stopped Cardigan. Noticing that he had pie crust on his shirt, they arrested him even though he insisted he hadn't stolen the pie. A judge and a jury were chosen to decide if he stole the pie or not. The neighbor and the milkman were called as witnesses. Cardigan's trail started the next, the next day. Miss, Mrs. Brown took the stand first. Is there anyone in this courtroom that you saw the day the pie disappeared? The judge asked her. Yes, she said. That moves over there. She pointed to Cardigan. There was a murmur from the crowd he did he did it he's guilty someone said we don't know that yet said the judge the rabbit then took the stand did you see anyone near the fly the judge asked the rabbit sure did said the rabbit that moose right there he stole it. No, I didn't, shouted Cardigan. I didn't steal it, I promise. Order, shouted, order, shouted the judge. Cardigan turned and his antlers pumped a statue and sent it crashing to the floor. It made a really loud noise, and the jury gave Cardigan dirty looks. Next witness, shouted the judge. The milkman then took the stand. Who did you see at the time the pie was taken? The judge asked. The moose, he asked. No question about it, he Walked right up to the window. His face was particularly touching the pie. By now, some folks were convinced that Cardigan took the pie, even though the judge kept saying, We still don't have any proof. Finally, Cardigan was called to stand. As he crossed the courtroom, he, his antler got all wrapped up in the flag. It took him over a minute to get untangled. His, his troublemaker declared a gopher. Others nodded in agreement as the judge asked 
Well, Moose, did you walk up to the pie? Well, uh, yes, but just to smell it, said Cardigan softly. I knew, I knew it, sh shouted a goat. Look, look, look him up, order, com com commanded the judge, order the court. But I didn't take it, insisted Cardigan. Honest, he stood up and his antlers knocked the judge. The judge's gavel to the floor. Sit down, shouted the judge. But as Cardigan went to sit, he bumped the judge with his antlers. The judge fell to the ground. He hit the judge, shouted one, one of the, secu the security guards. They grabbed Cardigan and and start uh, I, they grabbed cardigan and started taking him away the jury members made up their minds but the judge stood up and said now just hold on a minute i'm curious about something he said follow me He, he walked uh, out of the courtroom, and everyone followed him through the town. They reached Mrs. Brown's house, and the judge walked around outside the win to the window where the pie had been sure enough they're, sm they're smushed or over the bushes was the apple pie. It didn't smell very good anymore. You knocked it off window with with those giant antlers of yours you silly moose said the judge laughing it was an accident everyone immediately felt terrible for being so rotten to cardigan and the jury proclaimed him not guilty right then and there To make it up to him, they had a party in his honor, and Mrs. Brown baked a pie specially for him, even after he broke her favorite vase. Okay, if you like this video or this story, give me a like or subscribe. Thank you for watching.